please do not sleep on the last campfire. It is a safety hazard, and also you would be missing out on a fantastic game. Designed by three people from Hello Games, creators of the infamous No Man's Sky, this game is very different in scope and tone. It's mysterious and whimsical. You control a cutesy little character called Ember, who wears a blue onesie. It's very adorable. And you're on a quest to find other people like you, who are mostly frozen like statues. When you touch them, you go into a little puzzle and work out how to complete the puzzle and bring them back to life. They will then thank you and give a small comment, and then you'll see them at the campfire, which acts as your kind of hub world. There's a few campfires in the game, and each one has about 10 lost souls for you to find. They're called Forlorn. Now, you don't have to find all 10, but I felt very compelled to. I felt like I really wanted to save everyone and experience every puzzle before I moved on, but you don't have to. I think you need, uh, you can skip two or three if you don't want to do them. The puzzles themselves are fairly easy. It's nothing like Steven's Sausage Roll or something like that. There were a few times where I felt overwhelmed and like I had no idea what to do, but with enough time spent on it, I worked it out and felt good about myself after having figured it out. Also, while exploring the world, you come across a few very colourful characters. Uh, this game draws on mythology and kind of animals like changed and made bigger and made weird looking. And there's such a magical quality to this game. It really uh, feels like a storybook as you play it. And adding to that feeling is the game's narrator, who is absolutely amazing. I don't know where they found her, but she has this slight accent, like a kind of like a Norwegian accent, and as she's reading out what's happening and commenting on Ember's journey and the people she encounters, it just feels so beautiful. I can't describe it any other way than it. It really just feels like such a, a lovely uh, tale that you that you're being told. It's almost like you're a child again and you're being told this uh, fairy tale. There are some collectibles in the form of little scraps of journal that you'll find in boxes throughout the world. These are usually optional areas that you can discover, and I enjoyed getting them, but I didn't feel compelled to find every single one. The main draw really is exploring this beautiful world and just soaking it in and uh, progressing through the story. And there's not a lot of story, but it just it just feels so right the way it, it's told and the way you progress through this game and you're finding little items that can help you. You're finding like a, a lever to put into a slot that you found earlier and there's just like so many little things in this game that really add up to such an amazing experience and you know I, I don't think I played anything last year that is on the same level as this. It's, it's just so simple and beautiful and just it's so elegant in a way and I really encourage anyone to play this. It's, it's about six hours, it's not a massive game, it's not a, like a huge open world game or anything but the amount of joy that I felt playing this, it's really hard to describe but yeah I really I really recommend it and aside from some slight lack lagging on Xbox One, just when you would touch a new Forlorn and go into their puzzle, there would be some slight lagging, um, but aside from that, there was absolutely no issues. Emma felt so afraid and alone that it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away, when they noticed a small satchel. The satchel felt heavy. Ember looked inside. The statue shone brightly in the light. There was a symbol on the floor. Ember noticed something wrong.
there was a round space where something used to fit. To Ember's delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. The stairway opened into a dark forest. Ember could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone, somewhere very unfamiliar. felt like they were being watched. The foxes howled into the night. The only reply was silence. <laughs>